was born in Whanganui, and uh, yeah, I've had a passion for boats ever since I was quite young. I worked in the shipyard as a labourer when I first left school, so yeah, the interest in boats started way back then. I really like what I'm doing now, which is cruising up and down the river and, and sharing it with people from other places and from overseas. Being out on the Whanganui is just stunning on a nice day. Every part of New Zealand has an activity that happened in early times, which sets it apart from all the other parts of New Zealand. Well, this is the riverboat capital of New Zealand. End of story, you know, in my opinion, you know. When you read the books about the boats, you know, the, the things that went on and the adventures that people had on the river was something that touched a lot of people's lives that spread right throughout the community in its heyday. In the case of Wairua and Waiora, they were twins and they went on the river together. This boat was more often than not the mail boat. There was no railways for a very long time. And of course there were no motor cars, so the river was State Highway 1 for a while. I mean, everyone in Whanganui, when I was young, knew about the boats. They'd not really that long stopped running. I, I thought that it would be great to see the waterway come back to life again. I'd read about the Wairua where it was and, and, and what its fate was. With the coming of the roads in the top end, they had more vessels than they needed and they laid it up more or less where it sank. They just stopped pumping out Wairua and it went to the bottom. You could actually see bits of it sticking up out of the water at low tide. I thought how wonderful it would be to bring it back to life, you know. But, you know, how impossible, you know moved away from the idea. But that's a sort of a, a spell of that sort of thing you fall under. I thought it would be pretty difficult, <laughs> but it could be done. If you've got a project or something you want to pursue, there's a lot of clever people here and a lot of people that will give you a hand. There were four of us originally and we dug all round it at low tide. We tweaked it and winched it and wriggled it around in the hope that it would come up. It was only the hull that came out of the river. The, the rest of it, it was, was completely gone. We started from scratch, certainly as far as the superstructure goes. The four of us, we didn't have a lot of resources. You know, we were operating on a wing and a prayer, really. <laughs> I thought we'd get there. I was never quite sure how, but I, I, I was pretty determined. It took us 19 years. It had been a long journey, but it, but it was great. I'm proud of the part I played, for sure. We've made a difference. What could be better than that, other than it, that those things that you've got going, that they keep going. It wasn't always my intention to be the skipper of the boat. Life never quite turns out like how you plan it. So yeah, it's a very busy life occupied by a riverboat. I keep doing it because I believe our riverboat heritage is unique to us and we do think it's something that we can be proud of. You know, a really nice day out on the rivers definitely makes you happy. <laughs> <laughs>